Hello and welcome back to... I guess it's just and friends now. If you know my usual intro, you know what it was supposed to say. Well, I don't know how you guys personally felt about the previous episode in your game, but I was just really, I was very baffled, I was very taken aback and a little bit in a state of shock and I definitely needed to take a little, little time off to process this whole thing. I wasn't ready to just move on as John. Um, yeah, the, the last episode was a whole lot in a lot of ways and uh, now we're here a few years later in uh, Strawberry looking for good honest work. So, uh, well, I see there's some help wanted here uh, at the store, so let's go and see how that works out. If we can get through a day without killing someone like Abigail wanted. Let's go. So, um, oh, this is our main man, huh? That feels so weird to say. Oh. What is that? Are we behind a lock now? Oh, those. Alright, well. Help want it. Apply within. Help Peace. you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and oh. running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, Rude. I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Milton. That's yeah, it. My wife and I and our boy. We was robbed a few mm. days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, it's not <laughs> us. Tell me about not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Well, that wasn't hard, was it? All right, so go to the doctor's office to meet with Abigail, and nobody is bothered that we are parked on the only road that leads like into this town all right but um as long as nobody has a problem with it well they're gonna load up the wagon so i guess we're just gonna go by foot oh oh and that's our honor meter i had gotten so used to me and arthur at the very top but it's fine john it's fine john you just, you do you, and you'll, you'll work your way up. It only took us like 45 episodes with Arthur, so don't worry about it. The doctors, all right. Thank you, doctor. Hey, how you getting on? I found some work. Me too. <laughs> Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. Fine oh, living. Oh, <laughs> it is. This is the way to it. Aww. Take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Aww. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. That's sweet. <laughs> well, I was already enjoying that we are getting a bit more of Abigail because she seem she seemed pretty cool from the get go, but we haven't had that much to do with her as Arthur. But well, I guess we do now. Hello. Okay Hello. there. You the big man around here? Mm -mm. Oh, you're you're the man with grass going through him. That can't be great. Maybe just leave a fellow alone. Well, then. I'll let you go about your business. There you go. See That's you a later. standard, standard Arthur just in a John version. Well, guess I'll see you around then. All right. 
<laughs> Milton. Are you ride slow now? Yetis don't want his goods damaged. Okay, if you say so. But at the same time, I also want to do it super fast and like be really impressive and stuff. Okay, what did you say? Return to your wagon. We can do that. I mean, that should be possible. Alright, so should we check out where that is? Wow, that's a that's a good long ride there. Okay. Well um West past Owen Chila, then follow the road north. Okay. Well, we have a little yellow marker on here, so that's gonna help us for sure. Okay, well I mean it is good on his work. Okay, don't damage the goods. I'm already going a little fast just because it's it's fun. But it is definitely and has always been a lot harder to drive with a wagon whoa into the trees. Okay. I mean I felt like I had gotten pretty good at riding on horseback, but as soon as I get on a wagon, it becomes very difficult and but they explicitly said not to damage the goods. So I'll try my best not to do that. So this is a brand new start for us. So strange. I mean, we had gotten so familiar with Arthur along the way and I really miss the dude. And don't run into anybody or run your horse straight off a cliff. What if we get attacked? Do we even have any weapons? We have our hands! And, and some beans! That's not great. We don't even have a weapon? Crap! Damage? <laughs> Range? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> okay, well, um... Let's hope we don't run into any problems. It's been a little while since I've been in a fist fight and... Oh shit, that might be a little fast. Okay. Well, it's been a while since I've been in a fist fight. Watch out, rabbit. Um, and, and I feel like the way most people kind of respond to you here is not by smacking you in the head, it's by shooting you in the goddamn face. Um, okay, so hopefully we didn't already damage the goods by just like running like crazy over that bridge. I mean, I don't know what we're packing, but if, if it's glass, it's gone. Now we go north. All right. Still got a good long ride ahead of us. Well, I got a sense that you guys also missed, I'm gonna say Arthur, I might like just accidentally say that because I've been saying that for so 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 many many episodes but that you at least missed Red Dead and that we still had definitely some stuff to do but I also could hear from you that some of you have had a little bit of a hard time getting back to the game after what happened and well like I said in the beginning I totally get that because it's just, yeah, it's a big change, but somehow also a really, really neat transition into Red Dead 1, which I haven't played, but I do know that you play as John in that one, so that's kind of cool. Even though it would have been really neato to be Sadie, not gonna lie. All right, well, I guess we're there, and hopefully we did good. Um, so yeah, I uh, don't think this is what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the, what do you call it, epilogue? Is that how you pronounce it? But um, this is the start. You Mr. Geddes? No sir, I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton, I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Mm, yes, it is. it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, 
Your boss? He looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife. We was in business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. A new story for everyone we hands. meet. <laughs> it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. Lancelot, that's so cute. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, oh no, looking for trouble Once, already? Uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy. I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> no. <laughs> My horse and wagon too. Take that horse if you need it. Well, yeah. Oh. But what am I gonna do? Go easy on him. Okay. That's my damn wagon. You can block its path or jump aboard. Okay. Alright. This is not a fast horse, I gotta say, but. Oh! Shit. I thought I jumped to the wagon. Whoa! You want your wagon back? Yes. Oh, shit. Come on. Sir. Oh no! Oh no, John! <laughs> Jesus! John! That was embarrassing! Okay, we gotta practice, my friend. There you go. I mean, that was not the worst. Alright, well, let's see if we can turn around here. <gasps> Don't damage the goods, horse. I asked you very nicely to stop. Okay. And backwards. This way. This. Come on, wagon. You can do it. There you go. That's the spirit. I mean, he can't really blame us that much if anything is damaged right now, right? Because, I mean, we sure as frick did what we could. Nobody needs to know that we might have damaged them actually just backing out of here, hey. so, you know. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? For sure. Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work, we'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. Work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest. And my wife. <laughs> Something you were trying. Fancy thoughts. She'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just, please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah, makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a... A little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Yonder. Work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. See, that would be nice, not wouldn't it? This. Yep. It's really beautiful. Get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. A little cabin and all, and mountains and horses and trees, and I like it. Epilogue, part one, Pronghorn Ranch. So it sounds like we might be able to stay now, doesn't it? Otherwise, this is a stupid chapter name. Oh, I love that. Mission complete, the wheel.
Did we abandon our legendary animal? Really now? I have a feeling um, this is them. Um, reclaim the wagon within one minute. John, we would have if you weren't like playing dead on your horse. I didn't drop any supplies. Well, that's good. Well, yeah. Well, okay then. I, I guess we have access to our previous legendary animals. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we had one uh, on our horse, but have we got... We've got binoculars, but we don't have a goddamn gun. Let's eat some salmon. Is this... Is this ours? That's a girl. It's called Rachel. We don't have a horse named Rachel, do we? But we can't. Like, okay, brush it and remove saddle and everything. So I guess we have Let's a Rachel. Go. But then we also had the one behind the wagon, or what? I don't know. Let's feed a baby. Let's bond a little. Have the appetite. <laughs> Doing okay, girl. Yeah. Need to get used to all John's little standard phrases. All right. Oh, she's pretty, isn't she, Rachel? Okay, let's see what we got. So it's the next morning, and Abigail and Jack are due to arrive at your cabin in Pronghorn Ranch. And yeah, I guess that's what we can do. I don't think we need to ride there. I think we can walk. <gasps> oh, run, John, run. Oh. Look at that. Hello, friends. What else we got? What a sleepy one. Oh, that's so nice. And here are a few horses. Oh, I'm disturbing them, clearly. Oh, oh, hello. These are all nice. So we need to like restudy everything because I mean, we've definitely seen a Kentucky Saddler before. Do you think he's gonna be mad if we go in and say hello? Should be okay, right? Mister? Morning, mister. Well, I don't think we need to like restudy everything. <gasps> that looks Arabian like, doesn't it? No. Let's get a little closer. Oh. It's a pretty one though. Real pretty. Okay, everybody needs brushing. You're pretty. You wanna be friends? Hello? Oh, please don't kick me in the face. Oh no. Be my friend. Okay, okay. Let me pad you. Easy there. Let me pad you. Calm yeah. down, boy. You're yeah. okay. You're Looks okay. really pretty with the reddish Easy. mane and tail. Look, now we're friends. All right, I, I better get some work done. They're probably not gonna pay me to just pat horses. If they do, I mean that would be a great job. Okay, so this time. Don't barge in the door, maybe. Like I used to do with our old Milton, friend. Get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Simple mm -hmm. pleasures. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Oh, Thank John, Jim, Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. Oh, you Lord. and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John Jim? Extra hard. Hey. John Jim got hey. it. Get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> John Jim. That's my name. Oh, this place is so nice. Come on this way. I, I it's a dog. Just a second, sir. Okay, I can't even. Is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? 
Not at all. Hey, Aww. is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Yeah. Look, can we uh not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no. Sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. <laughs> Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton, how fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. That's why we got a job. Go. God damn, Abigail. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Little appreciation here, Abigail. God damn. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You are gonna milk the cows? I guess. Sure. <laughs> why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around. Around, you know. <laughs> That's north, great. Mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. Hello. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. Yeah, there we felt that. that. <laughs> See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good Lord, no. Nothing like that. Yeah. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> Way to All sell right, yourself, man. John. Here's Jim, John. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. <laughs> Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Or cold hand, Jim John, so. Oh. We're doing great. Okay. Almost got a pail full. Mm. This is a little different, huh? Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey. Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. Now, Lancelot. Twelve, sir. Ain't that great? It's such a fine name. I like it. I got, I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> <laughs> do you think he chose it himself? I do. It ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said. I know what he said. We'll do it, won't we, boy? Mm-hmm.
Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. You better start calling him Lancelot, not Jack. Moving up. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Nothing. You almost got me. <laughs> Hold on. <sighs> Stinking piles of. Could be worse. I've done this. Be careful. Those are very polite horses. Like one poop per horse. Do you know how much horses actually poop? Yeah, you do because you've played this game and they actually... They show it pretty well. Gunslinging to shit shoveling. Great. Already sounds like this is going to go well, huh? Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Oh. Tired of playing, but he's at the same time also tired of shoveling shit after like two minutes. So, I don't know. Well, I'll put some coffee on. <laughs> I like our little night attire here. Three dollars? Oh, wow. Philip, okay, I, I didn't know we were supposed to be milking like super fast. Whatever. Okay, we got a couple of things like um, more shit shoveling and more milking, maybe. David Geddes needs to speak with us, and the mission was called Fatherhood for Beginners. So that's us, I guess. And Dickens. There's some work to be done around the ranch with Mr. Diggins farming for beginners. Oh man, this one is bigger. Do you think that means they want us to go for it first? This kind of sounds like more fun, right? But the other one kind of needs to uh, sounds like something that needs to get done. That makes no sense. That we're... Why did I put a marker on that? It was completely out of habit. Hey boy. Hey, buddy. <gasps> You're a good dog. Yeah. You look like a good doggo. Okay, bye. We're ready to work hard. Go run and do it. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? 
Pa! Fatherhood no, for no, beginners. You good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my <laughs> wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. So everybody is already working and we're just sleeping in. <laughs> Come on, he's over here. I'm good. Okay. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. I mean, since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. <laughs> of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. Okay. So we're gonna help this little shit who insists on riding a huge, aggressive horse. Great. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Okay, well, sure. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Hey, yes, I do. More. Pretty big one. That's you done? Right. Come on. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <laughs> uh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him <laughs> respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. <laughs> Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. We're okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Tire okay. out, Jeremiah. I see. Deplete his stamina to calm him enough for Duncan to ride. So that sounds super healthy. Let's just brush a baby, so... I mean... You want a happy, healthy horse, right? Yeah, Jeremiah! All right, let's tire him up. Let's get a lather up. This is a nice big field to do that in, huh? Oh, that's great. Whoa! Everything you got, come on! <laughs> All right, we're getting there. I guess we can start Just turning around. Show me this. Oh, risk business. Okay, that was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? All right. All right, child. Oh, should we just jump him over? I mean, just... If we can. Move, sir. I've got business to attend to. No, he won't. He won't even speed up anymore. We got him so damn tired. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. Go nice and slow. Stay calm. Okay, so we have equally long Pete? legs, the child and I. A horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. <laughs> I won't. No. Doing fine. Real nice. 
It's a good horse. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse you ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. That's right. sweet. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. So, um, can we finish up our babysitting for today, or what do you say? You Mr. Milton? I sure. thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. That's me. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm Is sorry, this not Mom. a gate? <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. You, Mr. It was a gate. Kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. Sorry, ma'am. I was babysitting. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, hmm. where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. Oh. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Oh, Lord. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Stick a hand in there. Find legs. Okay, now hold on. Find them, Milton. Come on. Grip. And pull. Oh, I slipped. Oh. It's coming out one way or another. Grab them again. Oh, I lost it. Get a hold of it again. Hold them, Milton. Here go. I just need to figure out what I need to do. Grip. And then pull all like that. Oh. Um, oh. I was okay, just pushing well, it once. I think she's. Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we Very had married. married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around. Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Awkward. Well, was I? What I was going to tell you actually is that. What we just did helping the horse, I have actually done that with a sheep. Um, I don't know what you call that in English, but here when you're in school, you actually get to go out. Like, it's you have to go out for a couple of weeks. Uh, I think four weeks total, two different places for me at least. And, and, and do actual work, like, so I try to figure that out. And I wanted to be a vet growing up so I, I I went out and I got really hands-on and the sheep was having trouble giving birth and I was out there with a male vet and a male farmer and they had very very big hands so they're like okay you've got like tiny little female hands so um like how do you feel about just like sticking it in there feel for legs and pull and I did pull out not one not two but three Little baby sheep. So there you go. <laughs> I 
Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Jim John. So, John Jim. This is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Because Us she's... on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. I mean, yeah. Dickens saw through because we actually said the wrong name ourselves. So, hello. Not Abigail's fault, this one. It's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. I'm supposed to be working hard. I'm Come really on, not, am I? Let's go for a walk. I'm watching horses. Come on. It's not really like extra hard work like they said, is it? <laughs> this place though, it's so freaking beautiful. Don't you just love Around it? The left. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. All right, girl. That is actually Let's really go. nice. It was I thought it was really sassy of him to ask. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? What? No. You're stay calm. Where would you like to go ride? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. Keep going, girl. You're okay. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Yep. No, don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. That's not how bits work. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... <laughs> Hold L2 when Jack is near. All right. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Don't let Jack go too fast. Oh, he can handle it. I am so intrigued to let him go even faster, you know? But I'm a good parent. Even faster, come on. Faster? Sort of. A little bit. It's fine. See? It's good. I love this place. Now don't be a little wuss, Jack. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. I do. Yeah. What's happening? Help! Easy there. Easy there. Whoa! Jack! Oh no! Jack! <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, you son. Okay? Damn. Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You'd know then get you back were. up. Get back on. Okay. <laughs> You'd know if you weren't. <gasps> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. All right. Let's go again. Faster! Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. <laughs> okay. Come on. It's fine. All right. I'll take a little better care of him this time. Not a lot, but a little. Now really stick your boot in. If you say so. Come on, boy. All right. Let's maybe just keep it at, okay. at that. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Where's the stream? Oh. I can't see. I'm gonna ride straight into him. Is that wild horses? Oh. Hey, horse. Now where are you off to? <laughs> Here we are. Yep. I know you fell, but. You think you're ready for a little race? Um. I'll be fine. All right. We go back to the path. 
and up to the ranch. Okay, on my go. Oh, your go. Wow. Race Jack back to the ranch. Sure, it will. Hey, come back here. That's not how races work. I mean, we may not have the fastest horse, but we do have some experience in the saddle as Arthur. You suck. You suck, Lancelot. But at some point I'm gonna suck because I'm gonna forget how to even go home. Do we need to turn? Like, we need this kid to show us the way pretty soon. Sure, I beat a little kid at a race who has never ridden a horse before. I feel very proud. Ridden, son. You won! This time. Whoa! But we both rode hard. And you're riding? It's got a lot better. Thanks. Hey, you keep practicing your riding. Sure. What's up, Lumi? You wanna join us? Do you just want dinner? <laughs> hey. Mm. I'll get the coffee home. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Hey, baby. You want to come over and say hi? Yeah. You can stay out of frame. It's okay if you're a little camera shy. Okay. So we did nothing pretty much. Win the race. Wow, congratulations. Tire out Jeremiah. Feed Jeremiah a treat. Were we supposed to do that? Teach Jack to ride without the horse bucking off. Well, he has to learn the hard way. All right, off to the next one. Well, I think it's fine we run a little bit everywhere, just bump up that stamina. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. No much farming about fence for beginners. Builders. Not really. <laughs> I don't know much about fence, nothing. Can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single handed. I don't know what you're implying. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. Yeah, it's fair. It's a really bad story if you can't even say what I you worked at. I was to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. <sighs> but I will work hard, and I learn fast. And be a little aggressive about okay. it. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. There you go. Position in place. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. It's good, honest work. Okay. That's it. Oh. 
You're doing all right. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. Seems kind of odd to use two posts in the middle here. See, we're not even doing that here. Makes no sense. Don't dawdle. I'm just questioning your methods. I hope you've grasped the basics. I have. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. That's nice, a bigger fence, so hopefully the horses can get more space. That's what I'm hoping for. Easy now. Oh, there's some commotion. Quick as you can. What's going on? Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is I Jim know Milton. How it feels. Mr. Milton, come Angus on. Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move. All right, what do we do? <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, shit. I'll get him. Use your lasso. And try and calm him down. Like I was never insanely good at that. Oh no. I got him though. So there's that. Too far away? Guess so. Come on. Let's talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the goddamn fence. Sir, please. <laughs> how do I how do I like not get Dragged off. You got a temper on you. Bad ball. Oh shit! Jump! 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 God damn it, John! I'm not gonna get any fancy awards for this mission. That's for sure. I need a little direction what to do when I've, I've got him. You don't look like you're gonna wind down, but I'll try. He's up. There, there. There. Kind of forgotten the whole whole rope magic. Whoa, I was never there. that good at it. Whoa, there. Easy, easy. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. Looking easy. better. Everything is still vibrating like hell, but. Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of Chuck. You're lucky you didn't kill anyone. Got him, Mr. Dickens. I mean, we're oh, lucky. Yeah. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. Don't lock me in here with him. Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Not too bad, John, is it? Old habits. You want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Who is this baddie? Oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. You oh, don't want to know. Pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. 
Oh, listen to this. Real funny. Thanks. <laughs> oh, no, this has been a while. Okay. Haha, <laughs> hats flying everywhere. Okay, it's been a while, but I'm not doing too bad, huh? Boink. <laughs> I sure am. Boink. You need help, boss? Answer him. Get off, get off that man! Get off! He hit me first. Well, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Thanks. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life, married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. What a and nice you, dude. boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. Why do you all have like the same horse? It's like. Thank you, Girls in Mr. high Milton. school. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What, what am I supposed I to do? Plenty. Plenty. God damn, Abigail. I mean, I get where she's at, but still, I mean, gotta earn our keep here. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Was that Dutch's voice we heard? Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't. Defeat Laramie without taking a hit. Well, I didn't take a hit, did I? I feel like I didn't. Huh. Any of it. Anyways. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, oh. smile. Do not embarrass me. Oh. What are we getting into here? Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another Kim incident. Kim Milton the, uh, again? Laramie Question boys. mark? Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Uh, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> Yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. <laughs> I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What was that? Oh. What, are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Oh no, in my you know in my me. nightgown. What do you call it? Oh my god. What the heck? They got digging over by the stables. Oh shit, show me where the stables is. What the fudge? Where is it? why are you running in the other direction then? God damn it, I was following you guys. Come on, you can jump that. What the heck? Oh. Dumb Hicks. 
the Laramie game. All for details. Well, I'm a little busy, am I not? They've killed Mr. Tobert. Who is that? They've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle. Uh, I guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Did I at least put pants on? Oh my God, it's so beautiful. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. But, I mean, wow. I know we're in a rush, but wow. Okay, I know. It's really pretty. All right, let's go, fellas. up ahead there's our cows a couple guards out front a couple more around the side I imagine let's get a closer look let's go yeah there's plenty of guards I'm gonna head straight in yep Tom you head up there and try and give us some cover Abe you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back I'll give you a minute or two then I'm heading in Yes, sir. Okay. Right, clearly I am the one calling the shots here. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. What's gone in hand? You cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. <gasps> oh, shit! Yeah, you made a mistake, didn't you? Oh shit, behind cover, there you go. Well, we got it. Where's everybody at? Oh, that's one. I felt like there were a lot fewer on my like map, but I mean Oh my god. And we need a little uh, a little juice to keep going. Oh and one up top. Not for long though. Alright, do we have time for a little snack here? We have some chewing tobacco, that's it I guess. Oh, we still got one, but not for long. Oh, shit. Uh, our core is depleted. That's why we're aiming like shit. Do you have anything? There you go. One more? They're shooting at me. Well, you shouldn't have. Well, somebody said somebody was somewhere, but I kind of forgot where. Somebody said something about stables? One more. Where? There you go. It kind of sounds different when we're in Dead Eye, doesn't it? We gotta move on them in there. Damn, Melvin. Carry on, Melvin, you son of a bitch. I see you, Melvin. You're gonna 
I don't see you. Where are you? Where are we supposed to go? I got this. You boys take cattle. See you back there, son. We should probably loot some people, right? I mean, I know it's not really our looting days, but let's see if it does anything bad for us. I mean, we, we gotta do what we gotta do. I'm so used to this, I, I'm hardly even questioning it. But we don't have a lot on us, so we could really use some more, like, tonics and maybe even guns. I don't know what we have, but there's time for a little looting. It's always time for a little looting. Maybe we could have a little more to fill up our core. Yeah, it's fine because we can go pick up a little ammo. We probably don't have like a lot, so things should be good. Is that just a gun over here? For person do? What else we got? We've got a lot. I shot a lot in a short amount of time. Especially thinking about the fact that we have never shot anybody in our life. Oh, that cow is not doing good. <laughs> it may not be the most honorable thing to do if if we're gonna be a, a hard-working, honest man, but I mean, it doesn't really look like there's anybody left to have a problem with it. What's that marked in the pen? Is that because it's our cows or or what? I don't know. We'll find out later. First we'll finish looting the last few people and then I guess we'll head inside, right? I don't know if we should pick any guns up. I don't really know what we have on us. We have a Lancaster repeater and a Repeating shotgun. Yeah, I guess that's why it's marked that there's guns everywhere, but I'm just assuming most people have shitty guns, right? Some worn out revolvers and stuff. I guess that's most of them, but of course maybe, I don't know, should we should we check the guns out? I mean, with our new ways, we're not going to use them much now, are we? Cattleman's revolver. We don't need that. Oh, that's not how we go inside. Oh, there's. it just says it's upstairs. I don't really need to do anything about it. We just need to go here. Sorry, sir. <laughs> you the fellow that said something about my wife. Pin taking, pin <gasps> shoveling, backwoods, sacker. This no is mistake, sir. Trash. You're making a mistake, sir. And I wouldn't if I were you. I've just found out that I'm a quite decent in a fist fight. He double fell. <gasps> Whoa! God damn, John Jim. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip, get the stink of you off of her, farmhand. Perfect. <sighs> Let's loot a bitch. Just because. He was being a real dick, so. I 
Okay, we can. Is that anything? Okay, mount our horse. Go back. And um, pretend absolutely nothing happened, I guess. And what happened to the little dots there? Did we get everything we needed to get? Thought we needed to loot somebody okay, a little more. Missy. Okay, so they got them. I, I felt like they already left, the guys, when I was out here. Did we still leave some people to loot, or is it just because they're lying dead on top of each other? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's head back. I think we got a few. There you go, a few different things. But not our hat, we forgot our hat. Well, if anything is as it should be, it should be here. It's not, oh no. Can we give our horse a snack? Coming on, girl. Guess not. We can have a little snack. Do we need a snack or do we just want a snack? My conversation with myself every day. What are you even jumping? Rachel? That's not really a horse's name in my book. Why is my hat not on my horse? Is it because it's not my horse? Maybe it's not, is it not Rachel? I thought it was. Yeah. You did real well, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Never this tried it really before. Fight. First time shooting Saved anybody. The whole place. Uh, <laughs> Don't tell my nothing. wife. Well, you. Oh, you. <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle. Three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Why three times? Not like one rifle shot to, should be enough to, be to know service. something is wrong. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Oh, the stars, though. What? So pretty. What? Abigail, what do you want from me? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. I mean, I'm with John on this one. What was I supposed to do? Now we're not talking, apparently. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. It sounds like our old friend. And yeah, Jim Wilson did right again. Get 15 headshots. You got it. And 10 kills while dual wielding side arm arms. I don't even have that um the, that need. And without taking any health items. Yeah. Guys, I think that is going to be the end of our first couple of days as John. Like we already discussed early on in the episode, I don't think the calm and quiet was going to last for long. And it's already getting a little messy on the farm, but nothing that we can't handle. So, um, well, we'll see where it goes from here. It's a little strange being John, but also kind of familiar in a weird way just because we're just used to like doing all the things to shooting and stuff so I feel still kind of in my element well hopefully um I'll keep uh, feeling that way so uh well I'm glad to be back I hope you appreciate some more Red Dead Redemption 2 episodes 
If you did, please give it a little thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And uh, come back and see me and John in the next episode.